Hello and welcome to another Beehive Growth Tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover how to create a Google Search Console account as well as a Bing Webmaster account so that you can uh, begin indexing your site and being found in the search engine results page and uh, gaining organic traffic. Now, these are tools that you can use to then also view and understand organic traffic over time. You'll be able to see the number of users who are seeing or searching for a specific keyword. Uh, clicking through to your site using those keywords, as well as understanding any issues that your content may be having that may be preventing it from ranking uh, to the highest degree. So the first step we're going to do is just go to, we're going to search Google Search Console. I'll drop a link in the video, but we're going to go to Google Search Console tools. And I've already set up an account, so, um, you know, it's populating already. But once you get here, this will be empty if you don't have a site. And so what you're going to do is go to add property. Um, if you have your own domain, if so that is if you're using a custom domain rather than a uh, Beehive hosted account, you're going to go to, you can go to here in terms of the, the domain and basically claim the entire domain. This will require you to add some uh, data to your DNS settings with your uh, hosting provider. It's a little bit more complicated. Um, but we'll basically cover any uh, subdomain with on, within that uh, custom domain. So if you're using like newsletter dot, you know, example.com, and then you're also using www.example.com, and maybe you have a third or fourth uh, subdomain, you'll be able to see all of those uh, using this approach. For most folks uh, on Beehive who aren't using custom domains, you're going to use this URL prefix. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in and type in HTTPS. The, this is important because all of our uh, sites use the HTTPS protocol. And then your Beehive link. So when you do this, you're going to get a screen that looks something like this, except this is going to be accepted, I think. Oh, this doesn't exist, so it's not accepted. But you basically have a couple different options um, to essentially uh, confirm your ownership. And so uh, the easiest way is going to be to use either this Google Analytics or this Google Tag Manager approach uh, because you won't be able to access the DNS settings or the base uh, code of your, your uh, Beehive site. So if you have a Google Analytics account set up, what you'll do is it'll automatically detect it if it's deployed. Um, you would go to your um, Beehive account. If you don't have Google Analytics implemented, you'd go to your Beehive account, go to settings, I'm sorry, you go to website, go to analytics, and then you can add your Google Analytics uh, code here. We're using GA4. Otherwise, if you the other approach would be through Google Tag Manager, which would be a very similar um, you know, step-by-step -step process, but you would create your Google Tag Manager account, and then drop your account ID here. Uh, once you do both of those, it should be, or either one of those, it should just be a couple moments before you can click verify. Um, but this is gonna be the approach we take for verifying your, your account. So once this is done, your domain will show up in this list and you'll be able to see uh, you know, performance over time from the time that you start the account. So the best time is to start is as early as possible. Um, and we'll go into deeper uh, details around how you can basically uh, kind of take advantage of the other features of Google Search Console. But this is just, this video is related specifically to just setting up the account. The other process will be to go to Bing Webmaster Tools. They piggyback off of Google. So we'd get started. You can sign in with a Google account. Great. So once you're in, once you create your account through the process, the setup process, you'll be asked to connect your um, your Google Search Console account. And so we recommend that you take that approach, and it'll just import the sites that you have uh, linked into this account, and you'll be able to see kind of very similar data uh, in this view. The difference is that this data is going to be pulling specifically from your search results within the Bing platform. So I know this is a lot to, to cover. Uh, you know, feel free certainly to, to rewatch the video. But once you have both of these uh, accounts set up, what you can do is then submit your uh, site for indexing, and uh, we have a video that's going to help you walk that's going to help walk you through that process that you can you can take a look at. But these are kind of the foundational steps to getting to that that point. 
thank you so much for your time. Uh, we thank you for your support of Beehive, and we can't wait to see what you build. Have a great day.